It appeared at first to be a tragic accident. A five-year-old boy shot and killed inside his home. But now prosecutors have done something unusual. They've charged his 13-year-old brother as an adult because they say he shot the five-year-old intentionally. KDKA has been following this case ever since the little boy was found dead just days before Thanksgiving. Now KDK investigator Andy Sheehan has learned that a parent is also potentially facing charges. Andy. Well, the 13 year old boy told police he pulled the trigger out of anger but did not intend to kill his brother. Now he is in a detention center awaiting trial on criminal homicide charges. The tragic events unfolded here in this house in late November when a police report says the 13 year old boy found easy access to his father's 9mm Smith and Wesson handgun. We learned that. 13 year old um, was handling the, the firearm and uh, fired the gun, which resulted in the death of the five year old child. In a criminal complaint obtained by KDKA, the 13 year old told police he was angry at his younger brother and sister for jumping up and down on his parents' bed. When they refused to stop, the boy told police, quote, he knew his father's handgun was accessible in the bedroom and grabbed it. The boy said he only meant to threaten his brother, but he said he did in fact pull the trigger out of anger, though he believed the safety was on. He shot his brother in the face, and the boy was later pronounced dead at UPMC Children's Hospital. In a statement, the district attorney's office said the shooting was no accident, calling it, quote, an intentional act that resulted in the tragic death of a five-year-old and has charged the 13-year-old as an adult with criminal homicide, a rare and unusual step for a suspect so young. Charging a juvenile, even with so serious a crime as homicide, has to be done with a view that the juvenile brain is simply not as, as matured as an adult brain. The district attorney's office offered no further comment, but indicated it will vigorously prosecute the boy. But the statement goes on to say it will not try him in adult court and will refer the case back to the juvenile division. St. Vincent College law professor Bruce Ankoviak says even in juvenile court, if convicted, the boy is still looking at a long time in a detention center. This doesn't mean that this, this defendant is going to be out on the street. There are juvenile detention facilities all over the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, uh, some of which treat those people who are who are residents there very much the same way that people are treated when they're in prison. And he may not be the only family member facing incarceration. County police indicate that at least one parent will likely be charged with having an unsecured weapon in reach of children. Reporting live at County Police Headquarters, Andy Sheehan, KDK News.